I want to point out how liberal Judaism is. We are, we are by far the most liberal movement in the world. Because only Judaism says that Shammai who says no and Hillel who says yes are both absolutely true in the Word of God. They're absolutely true in the Word of God. It's not a contradiction for one to say yes and one to say no. When it comes to practice, you can't do yes and no at the same time. The first night of Hanukkah, you can either light one candle or eight candles. You can't do both. So we have to have a decision as to what to follow. But are both absolutely true? Absolutely. There is no group in the world that accepts um, different opinions as, um, as valid opinions as Yiddishkeit, as Judaism does. We are absolutely the most liberal people in the world. And while we give the greatest respect, I'll tell you another very interesting thing. Every religion in the world, uh, I'll say almost every religion, I'm no expert on religions, but definitely the major ones. You know, isn't it a wonderful feeling? I have a, across the street from me, there's a, a black Baptist church. I'll save the whole story for a different time, but we'll just say this. I once got a private, uh, a private preaching from the, in the, from the, I guess the pastor, I don't know who he was actually, across the street. He literally started preaching to me across the street. It was an odd situation. You know, the rabbi and the pastor right there, and, and I live on the main street in town. Uh, and what was he doing? He was trying to do one simple thing. He was trying to save my soul. I guess he figured if you get the rabbi, you get the whole congregation. <laughs> Great way to raise membership. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, what's interesting is, you know, I, I, you ever, anyone ever tell you they're praying for you? You know, doesn't it make you feel great? You know, at least, you know. <laughs> no, not necessarily, right? They're all praying for us. You know why? Because, because um, Eichmann, who killed a million Jews, as long as he professed his beliefs the day before he died, or was killed, uh, he goes straight to heaven. But you and I, we're going, in their opinion, they're going, we're going the other direction. So at least they're considerate enough to pray for us. I think that's a little bit considerate, right? You know, um, Muslims believe very much the same thing. You have to believe what they believe. If you don't, you get a straight ticket and the escalator going downwards, right? Judaism is the only major religion for sure that does not believe that a Gentile needs to take on the values of the Torah in order to go to heaven, in order to have a, sh a portion in the world to come. What does that tell you about Judaism? We are the most inclusive, the most accepting, the most liberal movement in the world. Never should we believe, when someone says that they're a liberal, that they are nearly as liberal as we are. But there's an art to understanding how one should be a liberal. The Tzemach Tzedek, the, the, uh, the third Lubavitcher Rebbe, writes something which um, sticks with me forever, absolutely fascinating, in his discussion of the mitzvah of Avas Yisrael. He says, you know, Hillel, the sage who we just uh, quoted before, when Hillel wants to quote the mitzvah of love your fellow Jew as yourself, the Torah says, love your fellow Jew as yourself. Hillel, when he repeats it in the Talmud, he doesn't say that. He says, Madisani lach lechavrech lo savid. What you hate done to you, don't do to another. He takes the mitzvah and turns it into a negative experience. What you hate done to you, don't do to another. And he says it that way. And the question is why? Why? Why doesn't he just say it the way the Torah says it? First of all, it's always better to talk in the positive. And secondly, what are you adding by saying it in the negative? And he explains a profound psychological thought. He says there is one thing deep within every one of us that we hate more than anything else. And that is that we hate when someone exposes the faults that we have within us. Here's a concept in Hasidic philosophy which may take some time to digest because sometimes I have full classes just on this, on, on this discussion, on this subject. But the Hasidic philosophy teaches us, which has a lot of psychology in it, that a person by nature, thank God, loves themselves so much by nature, even if you don't think you love yourself so much, you love yourself a lot more than you realize. Thank God, because if you didn't, you wouldn't be able to get up in the morning. If you woke up every morning thinking about all of the weaknesses that you have, you'd be doomed. You'd be absolutely depressed. Some people are, sadly, but when we're in a healthy disposition, we're not. And that's because we love ourselves. And when you love yourself, 
you don't see your faults. That's why when our children, when we get a call from school, uh, some parents are, are really outstanding at this, when they get a call from school uh, that their child did something wrong, it's impossible. It's impossible. Your school is messed up. You should get new teachers, a new principal, the whole school should be turned over. Because my child is an angel. Now that doesn't come from a bad place, it comes from a healthy place, just may, may be overdone a little bit. And that is because we love ourselves, and therefore it's hard for us to see our faults. And so Hillel teaches us, what do we hate more than anyone else? And you all know this, when someone pushes our buttons, and the deep buttons of really exposing our faults and our weaknesses, we become furious. Furious! It's the worst violation that one can do to us. He said, that which you hate done to you, don't do to another. Don't, you hate someone pushing your buttons, don't push their buttons. And how are you going to make sure not to push their buttons? When you love them the way you love yourself. Because then you won't see their faults. And if you won't see their faults, you won't push their buttons. Because there's nothing there. The simple difference between the people whose faults we see and the ones who we don't is simply that we love them more. That is the core of love your fellow Jew as yourself. We need to simply accept other people for who they are, even though they may be different. We can disagree, but we always need to accept.